Hey everybody, welcome to Programming with Benud. This is Benud Iqbali and in this video tutorial, you're gonna learn how to build a simple login or registration app with React hooks, especially the state hook, React Context API, and MUI. For this tutorial, I'm assuming you are already familiar with React architecture, main concepts and APIs. If you're not familiar with any of these topics, you should learn all the React basics first. Everything you need is in the docs, React docs, and like I said, in this video, I'm using the state hook, the context API, and MUI. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the app that I wrote a year ago. Let's run it and see how it works. By the way, this, this may take a few seconds. Okay, as you can see in here, we have a login page, so we need to enter email and password. Since I don't have any accounts, I need to register and create an account first. So I click on sign up. This is the registration page now, and now I can create an account by entering my username, email, and password. I click on sign up, and this is the home page. I can log log out now, so I, ca I can I come back to the login page and sign in or log in again. This is how how it works. Okay, now it's time to understand what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, so for this app, I used hooks to use state without writing a class. It's been a new feature or new way to build React components for a while now since React 16.8. React 16.8 was the first release to support hooks and now with React 17 and 18 hooks are fully supported and you don't have to write any class components. Also, I used context API to manage application state. To do this, I used a built-in hook called use context. And by the way, for routing, I used React Router to manage routing. Okay, let's start with the base component, app.js. As you can see in here, we have three components, login, register, and home. For better understanding, I separated these components and put them in three different folders, as you can see in here. And for managing application state, I defined auth context with use state hook. And then use context. Use context lets us subscribe to 
React context without introducing nesting. So it's very useful when you don't want to use Redux or Mobix or any other state manager. And for styling, I used MUI or Material UI components to make everything look good and stylish. And by the way, don't worry about the code. Um, I share my repo at the end of this session so you can use it or whatever. I hope you enjoyed this session. Thanks for watching.